Good morning, everybody. The day has barely started, and I'm already working like crazy. Not with just copying um, notes from the church choir practice, but even helping my dad um, around the house. And now we're gonna go outside and pick the salad. Oh. And I didn't even have my breakfast yet. I want my breakfast. Whoops! Almost fucked up. Almost copied the same page over and over again. Come on! Okay, I get it. Can you hear Anne? Please stop. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> My copy machine hates me. <laughs> Tell him to stop, please. Oh, the video is uploading. So, yeah, it's been a busy, busy, busy morning. Let, let me just um, fix this. Grandma trip. Food for my grandma is coming now. I've decided to go with my dad today so he doesn't pick me up in front of the house. But yeah. So these are the vegetables, kind of the vegetables that me and my dad picked up. It's uh, dandelion, the green leaf, and Rapunzel or Valerianella Loctus, Locusta Rapunzel We call it uh, Motovillets That's how we say it In all language so Now I have to clean this In at least four waters Then it's good to go For four days And can stay in the fridge <sighs> I want to go to sleep but I can't. I gotta cook. I gotta study. Oh, the video is published. What else do I have to do today? Oh, I have to go to Grusuplia. Yeah. I wanna go to bed. I think I owe you an explanation why I'm having one of those no energy whatsoever days. Ever since chemotherapy, it comes a day, maybe one day in a month, maybe it's a couple of days in a month, and all I want to do is sleep in the bed. Last year, on the 1st of April, I had a huge operation. Um, they found a tumor on one of my ovaries, and they had to remove it. And it turns out... Well, at first they thought it was just a cyst, but then it turns out it was actually a tumor. And that meant I had to go through six rounds of chemotherapy. <sighs> Thankfully, I was doing very well during the chemo chemotherapy. Um, th after the last one, there was no sign of any cancer cells in me, so they've stopped. But since all that poison is still in my body, um, it affects me on that level that it comes a day when I have a feeling I'm standing next to a black hole that sucks all the energy I have from me. I'm fine in the morning usually on those days. I'm full of energy and everything. But then it comes to a certain point when the switch goes off and all I see is the bed. But in those days, they usually happen during the weekend. Uh, when, you know, we are always being lazy. <laughs> Rarely during the week, but on those days, 
I try to avoid any human contact because I don't want to spread this negative energy that I have to other people. I want others to be happy and if you would saw me on one of those days I would put the fake smile on my face. I would put the mask and I would try to make sure that other people around me don't feel this darkness in me this lack of energy so yeah I told you that I was trying to tell you this thing for a number of time already but I couldn't force myself to talk about it it's very hard to talk about something that happened to you the cancer thing and everything when you I, before that, I was living health, healthy, I mean, I worked out, I was eating healthy, everything, but it still hit me. The cancer didn't pass me by, it's, I got it, and I have to live with the thought that the cancer cells are still in me, in if I'm not paying even more attention than I already did to myself. It might come back. And I'm afraid of that. Like everybody else, I'm afraid that it might come back. So, be careful. Look after yourself. And go to see the doctor even for small things. You never know what that small thing can turn out to be. Hi, I just had an epic nap after the lunch and I can feel already that the energy is returning back to me. I have like about an hour and a half till I go to Grusuplia and in the meantime I'm gonna do something. <laughs> Don't know yet what that something's gonna be, but I'm gonna be busy. I'm gonna find something to do. I'm even thinking of going into the store and buy coffee or ice cream before I go there. Probably ice cream, because I'm more of an ice cream person than a coffee person. But we'll see if they're gonna have any ice creams. If not, I'll find something else. On my way to Grusuplia right now and ever since I woke up I was craving ice cream and there was only one thing left for me to do on my way to Grusuplia is to stop at a local store and get myself an ice cream. I know, I know, it's not summer yet but help it I was craving ice cream so I went and I bought one and um, yeah I mean I bought the only one that they have that you can buy separately because otherwise they had it packed for with uh, in uh, one liter cups but that's too much I'm not in the mood for one liter I'm in the mood for a small ice cream and I got one mm, strawberry taste Love it. I'm home and I'm headed to bed. Um, to while I was driving, this happened to me. While I was listening to the songs on the radio and uh, Katy Perry song um, "Fireworks" came on, and in that moment, I felt the rush of energy in my body huge I felt so amazing after that song does that ever happen to you that a certain song gives you that something you were missing all day this happened to me the question for today since it's way over midnight is what did you daydream about today 
something I was telling you the whole day that I need an energy boost <laughs> and I got it on the way back from Brusuplia when Katy Perry was playing on the radio thanks for watching thumbs up this video if you liked subscribe if you're new and good night